Hi, I'm Orlando Sentinel technology columnist Eitan Horowitz. With cell phones, iPods, and Blackberries getting smaller and smaller, it's easy to bring these gadgets anywhere so you can stay in touch and stay entertained. But you still need to bring along a bunch of chargers, and if you're not near an outlet, you're out of luck. This week, I reviewed three products that try to solve this charger conundrum by using solar power, like the kind that's plentiful here in Florida, to charge your gadgets. Now, the first solar powered product is this voltaic backpack. It's got three solar panels on it, and inside, it connects to your devices in a variety of ways. You can connect them directly to the solar panels by using this adapter as well as some of the tips that come with the bag that they match your gadgets. There's also a battery pack which you can charge and take with you to use later and there's a way to use the car charger which you probably already have to charge a device. All you have to do is plug the car charger into the slot just like the same kind you find in your car and hook up your device. Right now I'm going to use a PSP. Four to six hours of direct sunlight will provide enough power to fully charge a cell phone. About one hour will provide about three hours of playback on an MP3 player. The next product is the Iqua Sun, which is the world's first solar-powered Bluetooth headset. It works just like any other Bluetooth headset, except instead of only being able to charge it with a wall charger, it's got solar panels on it, so it's receiving power from the sun. This is really great if you walk around outside a lot and make lots of phone calls, because potentially you could never have to use a wall charger again. The last product is the Solio H100 charger, which is great for anybody who goes camping or hiking, or anybody that's away from an outlet for a long time. Like the backpack, it has solar panels on it, and it connects to your devices by using special tips that come with it. So for instance, if you want to connect it to a cell phone that has what's called a mini USB port, you just plug it in right here, and then connect it in your cell phone. Like that. The company says, an hour of charging in direct sunlight will provide about 15 minutes of talk time on a cell phone or about 40 minutes of playback on an MP3 player. It's also great because it has a built-in carabiner so you can hook it right onto a backpack and charge it while you're walking. For the Orlando Sentinel, I'm Eitan Horowitz.